I have something to show you. New Excel feature. Get all buttoned up here. All right. Let me tell you this first. Let's see. Sachin Della and the Excel team pulled this jive on me last year. I started on a road trip from Portland, Oregon. And by the time I got to Reno, Nevada and checked into a hotel, what happened? The image function had been released. This year, I started a road trip. By the time I got to Reno, Nevada, insert image into cell had been released. See, I know what's going on. See, Sacha knows when I'm going on a road trip. And in order to prevent the optimization of my fun, he calls the Excel team and he says, do the thing. What that means is release something new to prevent the optimization of my fun on a road trip. I'm out trying to watch BattleBots, right? Here, BattleBots. I gotta make a video, but that's all right. That's what I'm here for. All right, let me show you this thing. I have a worksheet here. All right, I'm gonna go insert pictures, place in cell, this device. Now I navigate to the images that I want to insert. Now I'm gonna do this. Okay, let me grab these six. I'm not gonna grab all of them. So I wanna show you something later. All right, and select downloading. All right, now look at that four come on where's the fourth one four five and we're waiting six okay i'm gonna widen this column and then highlight these rows make them taller and it takes a while this lags because i'm also running camtasia all right so now we have our images We've got this road trip image. Right, there's Alan Arkin in my favorite movie, Wait Until Dark. There is Bourbon Street in New Orleans. And notice these burrows, they are upside down. And there is no explanation yet as to why these are upside down. And also let me say that this feature is in the beta channel of Excel is not available to everybody yet and hopefully some of these things will get straightened out let's scroll down a little further and that's Fremont Street in Las Vegas that image is sideways and there is a way that you can change the angle of text in an Excel cell that does not work here I am going to highlight this column and go home and center. Okay, so they did center. Now I'm going to scroll down, go into that cell, and then insert pictures place in cell this device I'm gonna grab these images insert okay there are the images I need to heighten the rows all right there are the images I'm gonna scroll back up and this is what I'm gonna do next there images and then title 
Okay. Okay. Road trip. Then we got Allen Arkin. Bourbon Street. Burroughs. Clown Motel. Fremont Street. There's Bourbon Street again. Clown Motel again. And Roulette. Now I'm going to scroll up, highlight this, and make them proper headers. Okay, now watch this. I am going to go to Data and then sort ascending. Okay, so the Fremont Street image is on top. The roulette image is no longer directly on the bottom. It's second from the top now. The borough images, then Bourbon Street, Road Trip. It's not clear what is guiding the sorting. Now I can go over here and then sort ascending. Okay, Allen Arkin, Bourbon Street, the Burroughs Clown Motel. Everything in the title column is obvious how that's sorted. The images, we don't know. And notice in the formula bar, it only says picture. Let me go down here, picture. Go down here to the Burroughs, picture. That's all it says. I can right click, show image details. That's all I get. I don't get any information. All right, so hopefully this is something that's gonna be sorted out. All right, so here's one thing I wanna show you. I am going to go home and format as table, blue, okay no filter buttons all right so i'm going to highlight this column and then go home conditional formatting highlight cell rules duplicate values yes light red fill with dark red text okay widen this out a little bit so we can all see and yes the conditional formatting is working the bourbon street both of those are highlighted the clown motel highlighted go here right click delete delete table row all right so now we have one clown motel not two all right and go back up here get rid of one of the bourbon streets right click delete table row okay so now we don't have any more duplicates I just saved the file and let's check it out. This is 26.7 megabytes. So it's pretty big. Overall, I feel like this is a huge improvement over the image function. We don't have to fool around with URLs. We don't have to be connected to the internet in order to use it. So great. It does make for big files. We still have that sideways, upside down image stuff going on. But I really feel like this is a huge step forward and in the right direction. But hey, I'm optimizing my fun. Doing this is all right.